24-year-old U.S. Marine veteran Daniel Penny arriving at the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse Wednesday for his arraignment on two criminal charges in the fatal subway train chokehold death of Jordan Neely. Inside the packed courtroom, Penny pleaded not guilty to second-degree manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide for his actions during a May 1st encounter on board an F train. 30-year-old Jordan Neely was a familiar face in the subways as a Michael Jackson impersonator. Investigators say Neely had a documented history of mental health issues and was experiencing a crisis when he walked into the subway car. Prosecutors go on to say he aggressively asked for food and made other threatening statements to passengers. Penny denies race was a factor and claims he acted to protect himself and other passengers. But Neely's family and supporters say Penny took the law into his own hands and had no right to act as judge, jury and executioner on board that train. Attorneys for both sides spoke after the arraignment. All the evidence is that, uh, that we've seen is that our client acted reasonably under the circumstances and that he was justified in the actions he took. Daniel Penny did not have the courage to look Mr. Jordan's father, Andre, in the eyes. Don't be shocked when justice happens for Jordan, for you, or for anyone. Following the arraignment, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg released a statement which reads, quote, Daniel Penny stands indicted for manslaughter after allegedly putting Jordan Neely in a deadly chokehold for several minutes until and after he stopped moving. I hope Mr. Neely's loved ones are on the path towards healing as they continue to mourn this tragic loss. Criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Bernardo Villalona says although the discovery form offers new details, it does not paint a full picture of the DA's case. Remember, we're not trying the case in the press and they're not trying to try it early on now. When we're talking about the trial itself, that's when you'll find out all the evidence that exists against Daniel Penny. Daniel Penny remains free on $100,000 bail. He's due back on co in court on October 25th, and if convicted of both the second-degree manslaughter and the criminally negligent homicide charges, he could face a maximum of up to 19 years in prison.